If you've watched all the other basics videos, you've learned the essential skills you need to create any project you can imagine. Let's bring all those skills together now to create a project from scratch. I'll click on the app switcher and then choose shape it. I'm thinking about making a fish, so I'll click on the shapes command and choose a basic shape that best matches the fish in my imagination. I'll choose a ball and then close the shapes panel. Now I can start shaping it to look more like the body of my fish. I'll select this face and use the arrow to move it out a bit. Then I'll use the view command to look at my shape from the side. I'll box select a bunch of points and use the pad to move them up and to the right. I'll box select a fewer amount of points this time and do the same. Using the view command, I'll look at my shape from the top and again box select a bunch of points. This time I'll use the yellow scale cones to squish my shape a bit. I'll click in the background to clear my selections and rotate my shape by holding down my right mouse button and dragging. Now I'll start to work on the tail and fins for my fish. I'll turn on the add command and click on faces to add more material to my shape. Remember, this is kind of like placing blocks in Minecraft. Each time I click, I add another lump of material to my shape. Now that I have the tail roughed in, I can refine its shape by moving around different parts of it. I still need to add fins to my fish, but before I do, I want to turn on the mirror command. This can be found in the heads up toolbar. So I'll select this edge and choose mirror. Now anything I do on one side of my shape will be done on the other side. For more information about the mirror command, be sure to check out our in-depth video. To make the fins, I'll use the add command again and place a few more lumps of material. Now I'll just work to make the shape of the fins match my vision. I'll use the view command to look at the fish from the top again, box select some points, and squish them a bit. Then I'll select the face on the end, click on the center of the controller to reveal the rotate handles, and rotate the face a bit. I could spend a bunch more time playing with the shape to get it perfect, but I'm really quite happy with the shape. I'll make one last adjustment to make the dorsal fin a bit thinner, and then give my creation a good title. I'll just click up here and type a new name. When I press enter, the confirmation message at the top of the screen lets me know that my change was successful. I'll click on my avatar to return to my projects page and see that my fish has been automatically saved for me. Now go ahead and try and make a creation of your own. Then be sure to check out the next video to see how to make your shape look awesome using colors, stickers, and backgrounds.